All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the median from histograms. If you are unsure about how to complete a histogram, then I suggest that you look at my previous video where I've gone through this in detail. In this video, we're just going to concentrate mainly on finding the median, and I'm not going to talk too much about how to populate that table and draw the histogram. Although in this first question, you are going to be given an opportunity to see how this is done. All right, so let's begin. The table shows information about the distances 570 students travel to in a university open day. So I'm going to quickly generate this table. So here is my completed histogram. Uh, you can see how this is done by watching the previous video where I go through this question. So what is the median distance? So first of all, we know that we have 570 students. So if we use n plus 1 divided by 2, which helps us find the median, our n here is going to be 570 plus 1 divided by 2. So put that into your calculator and you should get 285.5. So you're looking for the 285.5th value. Now, unlike cumulative frequency graphs where you just go and find where the 285.5th value is, this is going to require a little bit more than that. It's going to require you to interpolate, which is actually taken from statistics at A level. Okay, so it's quite a high level topic here. Now, when we interpolate, have a look at this. What we need to do is work out a CF column. All right. So our CF column is going to go on the side right there. And what do we put in the CF column? Well, we add up the frequencies. CF means cumulative frequency. So we add all these frequencies together. So the first one is just going to be 120. Then we add 120 to the 90. Okay, and then that gives us 210, and then we do 120, add that on to 210, we get 330, and then we add the 140 next, so we get 470, and finally we add the 100, so we get our 570, which is what the question originally told us there was. Okay, so now we now need to find out where 285.5 is. Now, you can see it's not going to be in here because this contains the first 120 values. This contains the first 210 values. We know that it's somewhere in here. Okay. Now, usually you just give this as your answer, your class interval, but not here. Okay. What do we know? We know that we stop at 210 and then we continue some part of the way from it. So the bar that we are looking at is after 20 to 50. So 20... 250. After this is somewhere in here. The median is somewhere in here, but we don't know how much of the way it is. So to find out how much of the way it is, is we do the following. We know that it stops at 210 here. So all of this is equal to 210 so far. We want some part of this. And the part that we want to find out how much of it is we do 285.5, take away the 210. So let's quickly do that. So 285.5 take away 210. And what does that give us? That gives us 75.5. So what do we want? We want 75.5 of the total frequency of this. And the total frequency of that is 120. Okay. So it's going to be 75.5 divided by 120. And then what you do is you times this by the class width, okay? So the class width was from 50 to 80, as you are told here as well, okay? So 50 to 80, the class width, and it's here too, so 30. So you times this by 30. And what answer do you get? You get 18.875. So what do you do once you have this value? Well, you know that you left off from the 50, so you're going to now add that 18.875. So you're going to do 50 plus 18.875. And that gives you 68.875. So that's your median distance. Let's try this again on another question. So let's have a look at this next question. Uh, this question is asking us to calculate the total number of fish represented by the histogram and then use the histogram to find the estimate for the median weight. Now, there is a little bit of a caveat to this question, though, because it tells you this. The number of fish with a weight between 400 and 450 is seven more than the number of fish with a weight between 250 
to 300 grams. All right, so let's investigate that a little bit more deeper. So let's go ahead and find where 400 to 450 is. So you can see here, this is 400 and this is 450. So we are talking about this bar. So this one is referring to this bar right there, okay? And we are told from between 250 to 300 that this bar is seven times more than whatever's in that bar. So let's go ahead and find where that bar is. So 250 to 300 is right there, okay? So whatever the rest of this bar is, it's worth seven. That much we know, okay? So let's put that in here. So the rest of this bar right there is worth seven. Now, if we look at this information, that's telling us, let's zoom in here a little bit. See how many squares there are here? Okay, there's three whole squares and half of a square. That means that 3.5 squares is equal to 7. Because remember, it said that it's 7 more. This bar here is worth 7 more than this bar. So let's recap that once more. What does it mean? It means this bar right here and this bar, the difference between them is 7. And this amount here, which would level with this bar, is going to be equal to that 7. All right? So that's where we got this from. Why do we have this? Well, remember, 3.5 boxes is equal to 7 fish, right? So let's find out what one box is equal to. So that will tell us how to find the frequencies for everything, okay? So one box, how do we find what that's equal to? We divide this by 3.5 to get it to 1. So we do 7 divided by 3.5 as well. And what is 7 divided by 3.5? It is 2. So that means one box is representing two fish. So let's go ahead now and find out what all of these bars' frequencies are equal to. So now that we know that one box is equal to two fish, this is one, two, three, four, five boxes. So that means five times two, and that's going to be ten fish. So this first bar here is going to represent ten fish. The next one, we've got one, two, three, four whole boxes, so four times two. That is eight. The one after that, now we've got how many here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six times two, which is 12. The next one, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven whole boxes and half of a box. So this one is going to be 7.5 times by two, which is 15. Next, we have one, two, three, four, five, six whole boxes. Seven here, so seven whole boxes, and a half. So 7.5 times by two, which again is also 15. And the last one, everything's half box. So what we're going to do is pair them. So that's one, two, three, four. So four times two is eight. So this is eight. So the total number of fish is going to be 10 plus eight plus 12 plus 15 plus 15, plus 8. And that gives us 68. So that's the total amount of fish that we have. Now let's look at the median. Now for the median, what do we know? Remember, the total number of fish is 68. So we're going to do 68 plus 1 divided by 2. And that gives us 34.5. So we're looking for the 34.5th value. Now with this question, um, I haven't got a table, so I'm going to quickly just draw the table in. So for the first one is 200 to 250, so that's going to be 200 to 250, and my frequency for that is 10. Next, I've got 250 to 300, and the frequency for that is 8. Uh, I've got 300 to 400, and the frequency for that is 12. Then I've got 400 to 450 and the frequency for that is 15. Next I've got 450 to 600 and the frequency for that is 15. And finally I've got 600 to 1000 and the frequency for that is 8. So I've got all the frequencies there now. So let's just put a table around this just to make it a little bit neater. So there we have our table now. Now what will I do next? I will add here the CF column. So here is going to have 10, we're going to add the 8, so we get 18, add the 12, we get 30, add the 15, we get 45, add the 15, we get 60, and add the 8, we get 68. So 
let's go ahead and see where the 34.5th value would be. It's not going to be here, that's going to be the first 10. It's not going to be here, that's the first 18. It's not even in here, that's the first 30. So we know that it's in here, okay? It's going to be somewhere in here. So just like before, what do we do? We know that we stopped at 30 and we've got to go to 34.5. So we are going to do 34.5 take away 30 and that gives us 4.5. So it's 4.5 out of the total frequency which is 15 and then you multiply that with the class width. So the class width for this is 50. So you multiply that by 50 and that gives us 15. So now what do we do? We add the 15 to the 400. So it's going to be 400 because that's remember why 400? 400 is where we are right there. We want some of this. That's where the median is, right? Somewhere there. Okay. So it's from here, the carry from 400, add our 15. So 400 plus 15 is equal to 415. And that's your answer. Now in an exam, there will normally be a range. So if you get something around 415, um, not too far off it, um, that should be okay as well. Um, and this depends obviously on whether you use the plus one or not, because sometimes you might have done 68 divided by two and the examiners usually are okay with that. Hope you enjoyed that lesson. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please share this channel with your friends and family, anyone who may benefit from the content on this channel, which is to help students with their GCSE and A-level maths. Until the next time, goodbye for now.